Okay, this is the third time I've tried to do this, but my computer's been disconnecting and being an idiot, so I'm gonna go as fast as I can now just to show you my pictures of Kimba and Star Fox. These are some of the older ones I've done, because the other ones I've put on the wall, because I'm proud of them. Uh, and I don't want to take them off in risk of damaging them. So, yeah. Maybe I'll take them off later and make a new video, you never know. These are my Whoppers. That is iced tea. And I'll show you my Kimba pictures in a second. My microphone doesn't stretch that large. Shut up, Richard. My microphone doesn't stretch that long. Sorry for this camera. I mean, I don't really know where to put it. This is a direct upload, by the way. So, Anyway, so I'm going to get the pictures right now. Just hold still for a sec. If you can hear Richard in the background, then, you know, just pretend like he isn't there. Okay, my first one. It's a picture of Star Fox. Let me try and get it in focus. Mm, that's not working. Eh, is that good? Here, take a look at that. This picture is his Star Fox's soul outfit. I think that's his best outfit in head. That ghost cat right there, don't ask me about it. Not sure what it is, just so I put it there since in the middle it looked really boring. That's Falco. Yeah, I know he looks stupid and his eyes are too small, but yeah, whatever. No, his eyes are way too small. They're supposed to take up this entire part right here. Just like in, you know, every other game he's been in. So, yeah, and this is also his assault costume. And in the background, we have a little explosion, a forest, uh, sun, the clouds. And, you know, from Star Fox 2, when, you know, the R-Wings landed like they had feet? Yeah, I did that. And you can see Slippy in there. I thought that's pretty cool. I like it. Star Fox Wii. That'd be so awesome if a new Star Fox game came out for the Wii. I hope one comes is announced at 2000, you know, E3 2008. Which should be actually pretty soon, so exciting for it Star Fox. So like yeah, but it starts in July, Richard. It's not July yet. Okay, here's my next picture of Kimba. See, there's Kimba and Mr. Bombus or Mr. Mustache, depending on what you want to call him. I know, he looks pretty stupid, but I never drawn him before. This is the first time I ever drew Mr. Bombus or, yeah, whatever. It's Pompous. He does not. He doesn't even look close to Ash the Pokemon Trainer. He looks, um, he looks like a really young Mr. Pompous. And there's Kimba. He's based on the newer Kimba. I think that one, like, looks cooler. <laughs> There's his, um, tuft of hair on his chest, or as one of my close friends calls it, a chest nose. It's definitely, I don't know. It's just a tuft of hair. All lines have a tuft of hair. I mean, it's not a chest nose. Tuft of hair. Tuft of hair. Tuft of hair. And then it says, animals and humans in harmony. There's the Tezuka sign. And here's the... Uh, Kimba theme song. And there's a star. I'm a really big fan of both of these series, and they're both underrepresented in every way possible. But, oh well, I really don't care. I mean, I do care, but, you know, I still have, you know, my friends, family, all the stuff that's been released so far, like Star Fox Assault and, you know, the Kimba Ultra Edition box set. And, you know, people on the internet, blogs, all that stuff. So... You know, and you'll also, if you, like, have any comments on how to improve my pictures, go ahead. I know I didn't shade them. I decided I, you know, was still young at this point. Didn't shade them. Here, let me look at Star Fox. Look. Uh, you can actually kind of see the hairs I put on him. His eyes are kind of crappy. Yeah, I know, he's angry. Here, let me adjust the camera a little bit so you can see better. <laughs> There's his little vest, his red, um, what's it called? This red little thingy. I'm not sure. What what is that called? Oh it's my gosh! Vest. It's not a bulletproof vest. The red Sweater. thing. The, the red neck tie. Jacket. No, not the j no. And then he has his shoulder pads, his wrist straps. Shoulder That's pad. his communication device. Uh, I mean it doesn't really look like much, but you know they have futuristic technology, so I thought why not make it a touch screen. Um, he has a knee pad on one leg, and that's for holding his blaster. His blaster's nowhere to be seen. I guess it just fell out. Uh, 
I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's like a homing device type thing, I'm not sure. But you can never be too careful. Never have too much crap strapped to you. Falco, he's mainly, you know, an R wing driver, so he doesn't really have anything on him. He has like this aerodynamic type suit though, so you know, if he has to abandon ship because his G diffusers are, you know, messed up. He just abandoned ship right right there and then. So there's my R wing. There's a little design of a cloud on the back. And Slippy! Yeah, Slippy's inside. You could kind of see his like eyes or whatever. His beady little eyes. His beady little eyes. I kind of like that R-Wing. I mean, not because it's drawn well, but because, you know, it's on its feet. I really like that idea. They should bring it back in the new game. There's my stupid son. The Star Fox looks like, you know, the Legend is all the type print. And then it just says, we. Maybe that's Cat. Hey, Richard. You know Cat? Um, from Star Fox 64 and Star Fox Command. That's like probably Cat. I thought you were trying to make like a shadow of the book. No. It's Cat. That's Cat. And she's like, I love Falco, but I died. There's an died? explosion. Cat died? Well, no, it's just the ghost in this picture. I mean, it could be that she died. And also, there's an explosion here. Maybe that's Peppy from Star Fox Assault or something. He usually survives explosions, so I wouldn't worry about him. Let's look at the details on the Kimba picture now. The eyes are drawn exactly like the 18... Is it 18? No, 19... Uh, 1989, I think it came out. That's how I drew the eyes. And plus he has the little eyelashes. Uh, his nose has like a shiny, shine type quality. Here, let me adjust the camera again. His nose has like a shine type quality. He has his little cheek puffs. His hair is all ruffled. He has his ear. His chest nose, his arms. I didn't. I couldn't fit his whole body because I realized I drew his head really big, so I just had his body fit. Crap. Sorry about this camera. Uh, it's just a stupid webcam. Okay. And his eyes have kind of shine in them because he has like a, uh, a eyebrow, and he he has a he has like that's the only wrinkle he has on his entire body, even though like he's fairly old. I like thirty five, I'd say. I have to look in that booklet. I think they have his age in the booklet of Kim and Ultra Edition, but um, he has four fingers. That's how I always draw my people with four fingers. He has a, v a vest type thing. Uh, he has a hat. It looks like a golfer's hat and not like a hunter's hat. Uh, yeah, I have to use some reference pictures next time. This Tezuka symbol really doesn't look like a Tezuka symbol, but it is, trust me. Um, I just did that just to show that I didn't make Kimba. I just am, you know, supporting him. This theme song I realized is like very off. So it's like Kimba, Kimba. Kimba. Oh, yeah, I know, I suck at singing. Richard, come sing with me. Huh? Come sing with me. I, sh I should have even copied from the book, but I drew this at school, so I didn't have the book with me, so I just did it from memory. Okay. And after watching like 50,000 Kimba episodes, I'm gonna I be still. The high note. You're gonna be the. I'm gonna be Kimba. 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 Okay. Huh? I How really about we just sing it all in unison? Okay. okay. And just sing the words on this paper and instead of, you know, how it actually goes. I mean, I know I got it wrong. Don't okay, okay, okay. That. I thought it was okay, kind of okay, for okay, sure. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, set, go. Kimba, Kimba. Kimba. Richard, Kimba. that's so off, so off. Shut up. Yeah, so off. Okay, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to do fine, one that starts with who lives fine. in... Who lives in deep deepest darkest, darkest Africa. 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 Who's, Who's the, the one who brought the jungle fame? Who's the king of animals in Africa? Kimba the white line is his name. <laughs> when we get in trouble and we're, we're in a fight. fight. Who's There's the one, one who just won't stop and right run? And then, yeah, stop and run. Who's not afraid of anyone? Kimba the white line's the one. And then there's the chorus again. Yeah, I know it's wrong. Stupid Damien. Yeah, I can't even and there's the star. Why is there a star there? Don't ask me. Oh, yeah, I made this video significantly longer than it should have been. So, sorry, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed it, and please leave a comment, and uh, if this gets enough views or whatever, if it gets any views, I might even just make another one. So, thanks for watching all the way if you did, and goodbye. Sorry for absorbing nine, nine minutes of your time.